Hey everybody, what's good? Today I want to show you guys some cool stuff you can do with only one effect in Premiere Pro, the transform effect. Let's go. How is it going guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, what's good? Dave here. Today I want to show you guys some cool stuff you can do with the transform effect and why I pretty much use it on every adjustment layer and every clip when I edit videos. This video is sponsored by the 360 Connect sound pack, but we'll talk about that a bit later. When it comes to gear and plugins and all that kind of stuff, when I'm spending money on something, I really like to squeeze as much information and use out of that one thing. I even go back and watch tutorials on gear I already own. So when it comes to the transform effect in Premiere Pro, I really like to do the same thing. So I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of stuff you can do with only one effect in Premiere Pro. Let's go. So let's start with text. We'll just go for a simple text reveal. Let's get some text in there. Align that so it's dead center. And then I'm gonna go to my effects and drag the transform effect onto our text. And right here, I'm just gonna keyframe position and scale. We'll start with something simple. So we're gonna move down, so move five frames, and then reset the parameter for position. Right where the text ends, I'm gonna add an opacity mask, just a polygon mask right about there. We're gonna feather that, and we've got simple reveal there. Super simple. And now we're gonna go in and change some of these parameters. If you want it to be a bit smoother, let's just go to the start and add some ease out. And in the final position, we'll just ease in. And right there, we've got a bit more of a smooth movement. So that's a bit smoother moving in. And then if you wanna go in and change some of the parameters of that, and then you can kind of change the movement right here. Click on that and we'll change the speed of that movement going in. And depending on how high this number is, you start adding blur. So if you look at my Hello World text, we start adding blur. So select how much blur you want to add in. And if you want that to take longer, you can just move your position keyframe. And right there, you've got a little cool text reveal just done with a transform effect. And then if you want to add a bit of spice in there, you just go to 360 pack, add one of the effects. And then let's make that text disappear. So I'm just simply holding the option button and dragging some of the keyframes where I want them to be. Change the speed of that one. Right here, I can kind of see a bit of that text still. So I'm just gonna go to my transform effect, go to where the opacity is and keyframe the opacity. Make sure that is nice and clean. Move that sound effect. Let's go and just reverse it. Speed and duration, reverse speed. So I'm just gonna reverse that. So it sounds slightly different. Let's go with another one I like to use. Again, we'll just add some text, align it, add the transform effect. And right here, I'm gonna start with the text right there. And I'm gonna keyframe scale, rotation, and position. Move a couple of frames, go super big with the scale, rotation. Move another two frames, make it slightly smaller, change the rotation a bit, move another two frames, and then I'm just gonna reset these parameters. So we've got this right here. But if I want to make it glitch out a bit more, just go into your keyframes, select them all, and then make sure they are on hold. So it kind of holds each position and makes it a bit more glitchy. And then what you can do is go back to this box right here. So it doesn't use the composition's shutter angle. And then add some shutter angle blur. And you get something like this. Again, I'll drag it in a sound effect from the pack. And we get something like this. All the sound effects used in this video are from the 360 Kinetic Sound Pack. It's got over 400 samples that you can use royalty free. Anything from cassette tape sounds to whooshes to whips, anything that could make your videos more interesting, more engaging, and really add focus to any kind of movement or elements that you use for your videos like lower thirds, text reveals. It helps add that spice to your videos. Find the link in the description below. Let's get back to the video. Next thing I'll probably save you a lot of time, I know it saves me a lot of time. Now say you've got a bunch of videos, you got text, you got a grain there, and you wanna smoothly fade it out. You can either select all, click on the end, and then apply default transition. But then as it fades out, you can kinda see the grain underneath, and you can kinda move the clips around so everything's a bit smoother, so it all fades to black. Or you can do is create an adjustment layer, stick that on top of all your clips, drag a transform effect onto the adjustment layer, and then simply keyframe the opacity to where you want it to fade out. 
Now, another thing you can do with the transform effect tool is stick in an adjustment layer and add it to your talking head to make it a bit more interesting. Now, you've probably seen it in a lot of our videos. You've probably seen it at the start of this video. I know MKBHD does it quite a lot. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a talking head video. And I mean, this talking head could be all in one clip if you're super smooth, uh, which I am not, or you, it might have loads of cuts. So it doesn't really matter. Next, what you wanna do is just add an adjustment layer wherever and then add the transform effect onto that adjustment layer. Now what we're gonna do is let's make a quick zoom in and what we'll do is we'll just go to the transform effect and then keyframe scale and position. So I'll start from around here and then move five frames ahead and then just adjust it to where I want it to land. And I've got something like that. To make it a bit smoother, you can go in and then add ease out to your first keyframes and then to the end keyframes, add an ease in. So that'll make it a touch smoother. And then if you want, you can add a sound effect and make it a bit more dramatic. Now, next thing you can do is again, add an adjustment layer, but make the movement a bit smoother. So you don't have a push in, but let's just add a movement across the whole clip. Again, come to your clip, we'll keyframe position and scale. And then I'll just move ahead and just reframe this. So then you've got movement across the whole clip. Or you can just use the adjustment layer for just straight jump cuts. So why do we do this? Because it's just easier in your workflow. You can just add any of these adjustment layers wherever you want. You can move them around and it just makes your life easier. You can even save presets. I would personally rename these adjustment layers so you know exactly what movement's happening and hopefully it makes your workflow that bit smoother. Another thing you can do with your transform effect is make your own transitions. So right here, I've got two clips and I'm gonna add a transition between the two. Now I'm gonna take an adjustment layer. So this is where it ends. Let's make it a three frame transition right there. So I'm gonna duplicate that and then I'm gonna add a transform effect to both of these. I'm gonna to go to the first one, I'm gonna keyframe the scale, so 100. I'm gonna to move to the end of that, and make the scale 300. It kinda of zooms in, but what I'm gonna do now to make it a bit more interesting, a bit smoother, is I'm gonna put my start angle to 180, and I'm gonna uncheck this box. And then what I'm also gonna do is, I'm gonna ease out the first keyframe, and then ease in the last keyframe. So I get something like this gonna do the same kind of thing to the second clip because the zoom in transition you want to zoom in on the second clip as well so we're gonna key from the scale and maybe the position and then go to the end here and I'm not gonna go as extreme as the last one let's go 115 and then adjust that right there and then smooth out the keyframes there as well add a little sound effect in there for good measure and you get something like this Obviously you can make your own custom transitions and make them longer or shorter, but that's up to you. And then you can save those presets and use them for other videos. Next thing you can do is make your own custom handheld movements that you can save as presets later. All you have to do is take a piece of tape, stick it on the wall, film it for about a minute or so, and then take that same clip, stick it into Premiere, add a transform tool onto that clip, and then just take two guides, make them dead center, and then keyframe the position and try to keep that tape as center as you can. Maybe do it every frame, maybe do it every five frames. I did every five frames because it kind of just works. And then select all of your keyframes and then select auto bezier. And that will just create a custom kind of handheld movement that you could just save as a preset, stick it onto any clip and it can look a bit like this. A lot of times you get sent stuff and it's not exactly framed right or you record yourself and it's not framed right. So I'll show you guys how to adjust that. Take a clip, add a crop effect and then add the transform effect. But you want the transform effect to be above the crop. So I'm just gonna resize the whole thing so you guys see what's going on. And as you can see, if I'm adjusting the transform effect here, it stays within the parameters of that crop. So you can easily go in, reframe what you need to. And this works really well when you're editing interviews or Zoom interviews, or you've got windows with lots of people in. Then say if you wanted to keyframe any positioning, any movement, you just know that it's all gonna stay within the parameters of the crop. So that's the video, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Comment below your favorite use of the transform effect or any kind of use that I missed out on. I'd love to learn myself and get better, obviously. Like and subscribe, that always helps the channel. Check out the link to the 360 Kinetic Sound Pack in the description. If you wanna say hi to me personally, Dave the Greco is my handle on Instagram. Until next time, guys, peace, take care.